Now, if you look at this, a lot of the problems you're going to see are going to involve, so the first part, you know, you go through that whole process, that entire thing, and you try to figure out and say, okay, you know, what's going to be used up, you know, and you realize, all right, that we have 137.5 grams of P4O10 that's, that's created. We also know, you know, we also know that our P4 is a limiting reactant, so it is used up completely. All right, so what you know, you know that, you know, in your reaction, P4 is limiting reactant. It is used up completely. Now, that also means that O2 is excess. It is not used up, all right? It is not all used. All right, some is left over, all right? Some is left. Now, a lot of the problems that you're going to see are going to ask you, they're going to say, okay, limiting reactant was used up. How much of the excess is left over? All right, now the actual wording, so if you want the actual wording, here's the type of problem that you would see. It would just say something like, uh, how many grams of the excess <coughs> reactant left over? All right, so that's a pretty fair example of what, like, the type of question you'll see in most most things you encounter. What? All right. Now, it says how many grams of the excess reactant is left over after the reaction completes? So, it's going to be like a second part to like your initial problem. It won't it won't be like a whole new equation or like an entirely new thing. It's assuming that you're going to use and refer to the data from the first initial part of the problem. So, what we know is this. We know that we have 60 grams of P4 again. We know that from the problem. All right. We also know that we have 82 grams of O2. Now, when you see all that, you have to remember that this 60 grams, it's gone. It's going to be all used up. The 82, not all gone, not all used up. So what you want to figure out is how much O2 was used up. And then you want to find the difference and see how much is left over. What? Can you choose the ratio? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, what you'll be doing here, uh, the basic way you're going to do this, all you'll do now, you're just simply going to do a calculation where you do the limiting reactant and convert to the, uh, to the excess reactant. So what that means in this case is going to be P4 to O2. You're just going to do grams of P4 to grams of O2, a mass-to-mass -mass problem, all right, using this equation. So what do I mean? I mean, you're literally going to take 60 grams of P4 and convert to grams of O2. You're going to ignore the 82 for right now, though. You're just going to start out and just do 60 grams of P4, and you're going to figure out how many grams of O2 you get. So 60 grams P4. Now, in short, in short, what you're pretty much going to do, just so you know, you're pretty much going to be performing this exact same calculation, except instead of writing P4 O10, you're going to write O2 there in all those spots, all right? That's the only difference, and you'll be changing the mass and the coefficient potentially. So everything else will be exactly the same. So our molar mass, that didn't change for P4. What? If it tells you, so like, if it has a question like that, like, then would you even need to do the limiting factor? Because it would tell you that, like, P4, if P4 is the limiting factor. Yeah, but see, the way I worded it, I know, but the way I worded it, it didn't tell you that. It just says how many grams of the excess reactant is left oh. over. And they're, they're, they do that on purpose, so that you don't know which one is limited. Yeah. Now, you go, you look here, you say, okay, I've got moles of O2, moles of P4. 
you want to say, okay, what do I what do I got here? P4 has a 1, O2 has a 5. So O2's got a 5, P4's got a 1. Plug those numbers in. Then moles of O2 on the bottom, grams of O2, 132. That number again coming directly from the periodic table. Now make sure you cancel everything out. You're left with grams of O2. You do the math, you end up with, I believe, 77.49 grams of O2 used up. Yeah, stop. Now, that is how much oxygen is used up in the reaction. So remember, we said P4 is used up, O2 is left over. We started with 82. The problem said, how many grams is left over? So if you start with 82, all right, you use up 77.49. How much is left over? Uh, 4.51 grams O2 left over. And that is the actual answer to the problem. Like I cannot stress enough on the test and in any problems you ever do with this type of setup, the attention to detail is incredibly important. Because the number of times where I've seen where I've seen a kid maybe calculate the limiting reactant and then stop. Or maybe calculate the you know the correct mass for how much you get as a product. Or even get to this point where you figure out how much is used up, but then you forget to do that last subtraction. Like, there's a lot of places where you can forget to do the next step. Don't forget to do that next step. It's really, really common to make that error, and it's the difference between getting, like, you know, doing pretty good and doing really good. Like, that is the big difference. All right? All right. Now, are there any questions? No. Yeah. Pause.